Hey Scorpio, what's happening? I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading for Scorpio. We're going to look at the month of June, what's coming in for you in love. Of course, if this is your reading, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Scorpio, let's check you guys out. Um, if you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, all the details are in the description box. Scorpio, um, I also have my tarot readings on Etsy. I have my decks there as well. Your bonus extended reading, How Does Your Person Feel for June, is up on Vimeo. All right, so what is the challenge that Scorpio could be dealing with in love? One last shuffle. Messages for Scorpio's highest and greatest good. All right, the Queen of Pentacles came out in the verb. So there's someone here in your life that you relied heavily on, and I feel like you realize that you can't, okay? There's something that may have changed. Um, I'm seeing maybe a change in home, a change in status, or maybe relationship status. It feels to me like something here is not very stable anymore. And some of you, Scorpio, you could be in that Queen of Pentacles energy, right? You're feeling like, oh, I can't rely on you anymore. Because when I did, I lost everything, right? So that is the energy. Some of you guys are regaining your stability after someone set you back, okay? There's the energy of really um, being focused on you, your investments, right? What you want. In the recent past, there was some sort of conflict here. Six of Swords could be indicating of an inner conflict, could be a conflict with someone else. It feels to me like there's some kind of grudge with someone here. Maybe someone here, um, I'm getting promised you something. Ace of Cups came out with the Nine of Cups. It looks to me like someone promised you the world. It looks like there was a relationship on the horizon. Someone promised they'd be there for you. There was a lot of love. This is someone that may have given you like a promise ring. I feel like there was a, a beautiful new beginning starting up. It feels to me like you guys were both planning it together. Someone really met your needs. They, they surpassed your needs. It feels like this was a wish or dream come true. And a lot of you are having a difficult time moving away from this connection. I'm almost feeling like it was supposed to start, but then it didn't because something happened. Something may have gotten in the way, and the Six of Swords is like you're still thinking about it. It's something you're still trying to move away from. Now, some of you could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Scorpio like yourself, or um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It could be any sign. There's something you and this person have not discussed yet. And it feels like someone is holding on to it. Like whether you are or they are, um, you guys are holding on to it. I'm also feeling this person could have been very selfish. They could have did something that was proven to be very selfish here. They didn't put you first. So Scorpio, the first energy, um, the current energy right now is a four cup. So there's a missed opportunity here of some sort. Maybe with an emperor-like energy. It could be a Leo. It could be someone here that you have um, maybe some kind of shared assets with, resources. Maybe you guys have a child together. Maybe own a home together there's something here with this person where someone is rejecting an offer someone may be thinking about extending an offer but they feel they will be rejected and this could be them holding back you know the, the strength uh here is indicating of someone maybe being feeling powerless feeling unsure like if i was to take a move or make a move towards you would it be good enough so someone could be questioning that because the Emperor in the verse, I'm getting someone really wants to get back in your life in some way, Scorpio. Take control of a situation, but they may not know how to. The Emperor in the verse is someone who's lost their way, who's made a series of bad decisions, bad mistakes, bad judgment calls, and it has cost them. Maybe cost this relationship with you because there was a missed opportunity. Now, on your mind, my Scorpios, we have your energy, the death card and the six of cups. You know who I'm talking about. There's someone on your mind, Scorpio, that you're thinking about. And it looks like the six of cups, maybe you considered them like your person, your soulmate. You had a lot of love for this person, a lot of beautiful memories, um, experiences, good times. And it's something you think about quite often. Now, there is some kind of ending that may have happened here. And with the death, it's saying that this may have been necessary. Whatever happened, I mean, I'm getting energy that it may have sparked like a transformation within you. Um, your life has forever been changed, okay? The death card is indicating a change, much needed change, divinely orchestrated, perhaps. You know, maybe something came to an end is as hurtful as it was, it, it feels to me like it was necessary. Now, in the um, environment, we have the four pentacles, the eight of swords, and the two wands. 
there's someone that's holding back from you and I feel like this is someone that may be having a difficult time talking they don't know <laughs> what they don't know um, the eight of swords are in your head about you Scorpio it looks to me like they're very stressed they're living in fear anxiety I feel like they don't know what to think okay we have a we have a puddle here I'm getting someone is feeling guilty for something they may have done um, I'm even feeling like they're unsure of like <laughs> what they can do because someone is tied up you see this energy eight of swords someone is feeling tied up they may not have many options now they got themselves in a big uh, puddle i'm getting a messy puddle a situation that's very messy and i'm feeling like they don't have um a way on how to move forward their eyes are blinded so it's like they're they're feeling you know stuck restricted now there is a decision that they're trying to make the two wands is a like, indecisive energy maybe they weren't very indecisive in the past but i almost feel like this two wands is is a decision they're having to make but they haven't been able to make it because they're in a situation that they don't want to be in okay and the four of pentacles that's why they've been holding on holding back perhaps maybe very guarded towards you we're gonna find out more as far as the outcome we have the ten of pentacles in reverse we have the ten of swords two tens and a four wands wow it looks like before some kind of stability can be regained in some kind of home situation, four wands could be marriage, could be a twin flame. The 11 11 card, this is typically like family coming together, unity. Some of you guys, you want your, your children to come home. There could be something about the children. Um, there is an ending of some sort, Ten of Pentacles. It feels to me like someone has to accept that something is, is no longer working right and that's what the death is about something is no longer working and therefore you have to change the way you view it your perspective and with the ten of swords it, it may have the ability you know to you may have the ability to move past a really difficult ending with someone it looks to me like the worst will be over soon okay if not already because it's coming out in reverse and so there could be an opportunity where you and this person are rebuilding four wands bringing stability harmony peace to a home a family a relationship of some sort okay so let's jump right in let's get some more messages for you guys if this is your reading like your comment and subscribe your bonus extended reading is up on vimeo all right let's start off with the queen of pentacles here in reverse taurus Virgo, capricorn energy Ace of Swords. It looks to me like Scorpio, someone has something to say. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone wants to speak their truth. There's a lot of communication coming in. Um, <laughs> this is someone that wants to be honest. Maybe they haven't always been honest with you in particular. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords being very cutting. Like, let's, let's get to the... <laughs> the heart of the matter very direct okay and it could be something you're finding out some of you may be finding out the truth as to why something didn't work out why something or someone wasn't able to give you that stability that you needed that you relied on for from them in the recent past give me the energy we have the hangman in reverse the knight of swords and the lovers in reverse someone here i feel like needed more time there's a very um unsure energy someone was in suspension or unsure hesitant about this connection i'm seeing a lot of procrastination procrastination with the hangman could be a pisces and i feel like you found out the truth of the matter there could have been something that came to you but ultimately i feel like someone here was um I'm getting in the way they communicated okay i don't feel like it was very loving i'm seeing that someone here may have been very um brutal or harsh with the way they communicated and i'm seeing the lovers in reverse so someone may have been very very cold and detached on the other person and even made a decision to like walk away the lovers in reverse can be literally deciding you know i don't want this anymore i feel like there is some kind of past conflict maybe you guys talked but you didn't really have the talk right there's still some answers here or, or some um there are some questions that have not been answered so give me the current energy the emperor in reverse nine of swords and a five of swords a lot of overthinking mental anguish here it does look like there is an idea of resolving um if you guys like ignore the issue it's going to resolve itself but it doesn't you know but the five of swords in verse i think whoever you're dealing with they may not be saying this or taking action in any way but they do want to move away from conflict they're acting very non-confrontational which could be why you haven't heard from them i feel like they're very stressed out about what may have happened and I also feel like this is someone that may want to express their love to you. And they look at you as the king of cops. So they see you as very loving, 
full of love, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Taurus. And I'm getting with that um, the Mercury just went direct in Taurus. So some of you guys, that could be what that communication's about. Okay, just happened like June 3rd. Something could have came out or you may have found out something in particular in, on June 3rd. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm getting a strong Taurus energy or someone that's very uh, stern, maybe stubborn at times. But they may want... They may want to say something. And it's leading me to believe that this person has something to say because the strength they're holding back. They're holding, they're trying to hold back, but <laughs> the challenge is, this, is the Ace of Swords. So I feel like there's something this person wants to say, and there's a need for you guys to speak it out. But the strength someone is like resisting, holding back, feeling like, well, maybe, maybe I should resist or not do it. Or, you know, they're overthinking it with all these swords here, too. So give me the death and the six of cups. Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. This is your energy. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. There is some kind of action or someone is coming towards you with some kind of inspired action to Three of Cups. Celebrate. Come together. Be in this happy space again. I mean, especially if Scorpio, if you've been really down about someone from the past, you've been thinking about someone right, quite often, I'm seeing some kind of energy come in. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel like very vibrant, adventurous. It's going to feel fun with the Knight of Wands. It could be literally like a fire sign coming towards you. But the Three of Cups, I almost feel like you guys are going to be out there dating and maybe hang out, family, friends. I'm seeing a lot of good times. Um, but with regard to this partnership, Let's see, we have the Empress in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like taking a break, Scorpio, could be a really good thing for you because I'm seeing that you guys are becoming more clear about what you want. The Empress in reverse, some of you, you've been settling for less, okay? You've been settling for someone who has not been seeing your worth, who looks at you and does not appreciate you or value you. They underestimate you. And I feel like that has got to change. I think that's what the death card is about. I even feel like as you guys date, you realize how <laughs> there, there's so many other options out there, right? And and you may realize you have more options, but I think that there's still one person in particular, Scorpio, that you really, really want. And you may be still wanting to move toward them. So let's see what's in the foundation. The Four of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Someone is single and Three of Pentacles. Someone is single and they want to get on the same page with you. The Three of Pentacles is like collaborating like-minded individuals it's it's really about coming together values beliefs someone is wanting to work with you as a team i'm getting teamwork collaboration partnership and i feel like them being single could be a, a starting point for them to come back in i don't think this person has really let go of you eight of swords but they're stressed out they can be stressed out queen of pentacles it could be something regarding a uh, a past relationship they were in queen of pentacles could be someone they had a codependent connection with maybe they had a child with this person maybe they live with this person this could be an ex I'm seeing the energy of something about timing. So maybe this person needed time to close out a past cycle before they move toward you. I'm also seeing the energy of maybe you, Scorpio, right? You wanted that Queen of Pentacles energy. You wanted stability and security. You wanted commitment and marriage. And that could have been something your person was reluctant to give you. There's something about timing, timing where they didn't really want that at the time. This could be a Sagittarius. And for some of you, they were indecisive. Right, it's not that they didn't want you and someone like you in their life. No, it's more so that maybe they had someone else they were considering between. The two wands could be literally you and another person they were connected to. And I'm seeing the seven of swords. They may have betrayed your trust. They may have seven of swords lied, cheated, went behind your back behind your back did something and it looks to me like they may be wanting to confess that because there is a decision that looks like it is going to be made very soon. Temperance in the verse is saying, I'm getting like time is up. Time is up. It's like, what do you want, right? So give me the energy of um, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Something's obviously ending, but I feel like there is an ending because someone here has to realize that there's no moving forward with you unless they were to commit. We have the Hierophant and the Page of Wands in verse. It's almost like it... it it's like bad news to this person that they lose, they've lost you because um, their inability to commit to you. So for some of you, you're standing your ground and you're seeing your worth, right, when this person didn't. And with the Hierophant, I feel like this person knows that they can't continue to have you in their life or they can't play around with you anymore, Scorpio, like they did in the past. They can't get away with that like they did in the past. So I feel the Hierophant, someone is rethinking their commitment, thinking their commitment to you, to their friendship, to their relationship. They're also maybe even considering marriage. Maybe there's another outlook they're um they're getting on marriage four wands is here 
page of swords now someone may be watching you from afar they may even kind of be looking at you from a distance right you know or um this could be communication right this could be like very very light communication starting up with like a text message and the ace of cups someone is really missing you scorpio i think this person may watch you before they come in um they're still thinking about you know how to bring harmony for ones, um, some kind of stability back to the situation. But the truth is, is that I think Scorpio person is, is really unsure if you still care for them, if you still love them. The Ace of Cups is here. So while they want to move in a new direction with you, they may be unsure if that's even possible. So that is what I'm seeing. Scorpio, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, you guys, take care.